Hi, in this video, let us discuss about method overloading in Java. Suppose multiple methods share the same name, but its parameters are different, number of parameters are different, or the types of parameters are different or both number and types of parameters are different then they are overloaded methods and this concept is called method overloading let us see a code sample for this so let us create a class calculator So calculator class is used to do arithmetic operations. So we have few methods to do arithmetic operations. Adding two numbers. So to add two integer numbers, we will have a add method. So let us introduce here add method into this class. Public int add takes two parameters both are of type integer this method will add these two numbers and return the result okay. so now we will add another method which is also used to add two numbers but this method will add two floating point numbers okay so let me add another method public add and the data types of the parameters are this time float Float A comma float B. This will add two floating point values and it will return the result. We'll also add another add method public. This will return a double value. It will take two parameters, both are of type double, and it will return the result. Double A comma double B. So it will return some of these two values. Okay. So let us also add one more method which takes three parameters int add then it will take three parameters int a comma int b comma int c it will return A plus B plus C. Okay, so now we have four flavors of add methods. Okay, so now let us create another class to run this code. Okay, so let us create a class called overload demo. Overload. And we have a public static void main method. So inside this main method, let us create a calculator object. Calculator C equal to new calculator. Okay. So 
now we will call the add methods so let's call the add methods c dot add and we have to pass the arguments here so based on the type of arguments appropriate method would be called okay so let us pass two integer values okay let us first pass two integer values and see the output what would be one more thing we will do we will have one system dot out dot print ln method inside the each add method in order to understand which method is invoked right system dot out dot print ln and we write inside you can write inside add method of method for int parameters okay same way we can have this system dot out dot print methods for each or add method inside add method for load parameters here inside add method for double parameters here we can we can have inside add method for three three into parameters okay so these are the sys out in order to understand which method is called so now we can call add method and we pass two values both are integer values and see which method is invoked see inside add method of add method for int parameters is printed okay so now let us call another add method that is floating point values let us pass values like 2.4 f comma 1.2 f so in this case see it method is invoked let's run this code and see the output now now we get now both methods are called so first inside add method for int parameters inside add method for float parameters now let us pass the double value c dot add values of type double right so let us pass 3.4 comma 5.2 so it is a double value let us run this code again and see the output now see the last printout inside add method for double parameters okay finally let us call add method and pass three integer values okay two comma three comma four let us run this code and see the output now see in this case what is printed so the last method see the last printout inside add method for three integer parameters so this is what overloading is and the compiler actually checks the types of argument data type of arguments or number of arguments or order of arguments to to call the to match the appropriate method okay so overloading benefit is a convenience for the programmers it is a convenience 